Now we're going to go through and figure out what changes investment spending. Again, if investment spending increases, then aggregate demand increases because it's a component of aggregate demand. Investment spending decreases, aggregate demand decreases. There's a difference between real capital and financial capital. When we talk about gross investment spending, we're talking about spending on real capital, real investment spending. Financial capital is different. Financial capital is the money that investors, financial investors put into a company, which allows the companies then to use that money to purchase real capital, to do real investment spending. One of the things that will change it is the stock of capital goods on hand. If I were to ask you, well, hey, what's your stock of canned goods in your house? Then you would go look and you would see how much canned goods you have already. If you were to open up a cupboard in your house and, whoa, check it out. This thing's full of canned goods. How likely are you then to go out and buy more canned goods if you just found a cupboard full of canned goods? You're less likely to go out and buy more. Same thing with the businesses. If the stock of capital goods in the country were to increase, that we suddenly find that as a country we have more capital goods than we did before, the businesses will be less likely to go out and purchase new capital goods. The capital goods they were planning on purchasing, they'll say, ah, we don't need to. So they will decrease investment spending. If the stock of capital goods suddenly decreased, oftentimes from some sort of natural disaster or war within your country, then they will then, as they rebuild, have to purchase a lot of new capital goods. And so investment spending will increase. Technology, if there is an advancement in technology, businesses will want to acquire that awesome new technology, so they will increase investment spending to obtain that awesome technology. After the internet, businesses increased investment spending quite a bit in order to get caught up with that technology. New computers that had that capability, all the components that go along with that capability, huge massive increase in investment spending by businesses because of internet technology changes. <coughs> this usually just works in one direction. We don't talk about technological declines. Acquisition costs. This is the cost of acquiring the capital. If the cost of getting that capital, of like a machine, of getting it to your factory, including the cost itself of the machine, if that increases, then you are less likely to go purchase that capital and so investment spending would decrease. Higher acquisition costs means the businesses don't like, don't, are less likely to purchase that stuff, and therefore investment spending would decrease, therefore aggregate demand would decrease. Works the other way. If the capital decreases in price, the businesses are more likely to purchase it and more likely to increase their spending, increasing aggregate demand. Business taxes, same thing as with the households when they were having their personal taxes increased. If the government turns around and increases taxes on businesses, that's more money that the businesses have to give over to the government and less money then that they have to spend on capital. So they will not be able to purchase as much capital and investment spending declines and aggregate demand decreases. Shifts to the left. That's business taxes. Works the opposite way. Government decreases business taxes. That's more money for the businesses than to spend on capital. Investment spending increases. Therefore, aggregate demand increases or shifts to the right. Interest rates. We already talked about how interest rates affect investment spending. We assume that the businesses, for most of their investment spending purchases, they need to get a loan. So the price of that loan, the interest rate, will have a big part of their decision. If it's a high interest rate, businesses will not want to do as much investment spending. So on this graph, which we'll go over in more depth later, but notice here on this graph, 
Here's real interest rate down here on the y-axis. We'll talk about expected rate of return later, but real interest rate is over here on the y-axis, and quantity of investment spending is on the x-axis. It shows an inverse relationship. The higher the interest rate, the less investment spending will go on. Because the businesses don't like high interest rate loans. <coughs> Questions on that one? We'll do that graph in more detail later. That graph tends to confuse the heck out of people. This expected rate of return and real interest rate. Hopefully, when we go over it, it'll make sense to you. Okay. Maintenance and operating costs. The cost of maintaining and operating your business, if it were to increase, like your electricity bill goes up, then you have less money to spend on new capital. So higher maintenance and operating costs leaves your business with less money to purchase more capital, so investment spending would decrease. Any questions on this one? And here's the list then. Should I, should I change slide? Should I wait? Anybody need this slide still? Okay, we're moving on. This is the list. If you want to remember uh, wor words to remember, it. Just stab them. So consumption is do it. Investment spending is stab them. Stab him. The I for both of those is interest rates. Interest rates affect both of those. And then it's do it. Stab him. G. Because G is government spending. And the only thing that affects government spending is the government and how much it spends. It's basically the government decides to spend more, then government spending increases. Government decides to spend less, then government spending decreases. But there's no automatic connections that, oh, this happens in the economy, so automatically the government will increase spending or will decrease spending. There's no automatics. The government has to vote and decide. It's a group of politicians, most likely men, that will vote and decide what the government is going to spend and what they're going to spend it on. Is it too hard with the lights on? Okay. Lights on is good. This material is a little dry, so it tends to be sleep-inducing if I turn the lights off. <laughs> All right. Oh, I better stop recording, eh? Here, escape. And then...